Hello everyone, this is the Prussian Prince, when our hearts find four Let's Play episode is France. So, what are we gonna do here? There we go. More Soviet divisions getting destroyed, and more and more should be destroyed, really. Okay, why did we not get this? Oh, we did actually get it. So, what's the next plan? Well, I guess we're gonna just absolutely push them through here. That is nothing else. Those divisions here are gonna go down. There's, uh, ooh, and there's a nice push that could occur right here. Decryption is going. Moscow could be ours at any point if we want it. And we've got we've got the soft attack here actually. This is good. We should get Moscow. Like, I don't doubt it right now. We got the decryption going, we got nearly everything going. Why don't we don't get the destruction here? So we're actually also pushing in here too, that's good. But Iran is holding at least for now. Oh, we have too many factories. Well, no such thing. Okay, let's get some extra motorized. Full of Moscow, well that happened. Which is precisely very good. I like how it's, this is the French-Soviet war. <laughs> okay, we need more tungsten, probably, yeah. I'm just gonna ask for, like, more, you know. Should be alright. Just have so many civilian factories, almost as many as military. Wow. That is, uh, quite insane. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna push them through right here. Attack through here. Oh, this attack is not going uh, as planned. But hey, we can go in there right now and support them, right? And that's how we can do it. We still haven't taken Rostov. This is like the biggest, bloodiest battle for Rostov. The battle for Moscow was nothing, but battle for Rostov is like the worst. Anyway, it looks like there's an interesting pocket here, like one division which we're not finishing. Next, I'm gonna go with another tr division right there. Hmm, I like these uh, pockets though. <laughs> and they have no chance of escaping these pockets. Yeah. Goodbye to you, soldiers. Next, we're gonna finish this this one off. Five divisions right here. That's should be a ton of divisions here. They're going to die. Okay, so that one here is getting attacked too. These guys are gonna die too. So I don't know what's not gonna die. You guys are dead. You guys are dead. Yeah, too much soft attack for us. We also have Logistics Wizard, Defensive Doctrine, Old Guard, eh. Defensive doctrine, so we have both of those. What else do we need? What are we actually missing? Is the problem. Looks like artillery is a problem, so I'm gonna work on that. Gotta produce more artillery as much as possible. There we go. Wait, we can still we still have three factories. Okay, I mean, might as well, right? No, not the rocket artillery, but uh, regular artillery is the problem. There we go. And we shouldn't have any more three factories right now. Nope, we do not. But this is a mess of battle plans now, though. This is, uh, yeah, quite crazy. Okay, so there they go. I think they should just give up soon. Because I don't see them winning at all. Although they put up a much better fight because we didn't, we were not properly equipped. As 25% or less, that's when they will. Okay. Well, now USA, I. I don't know. You could just be attacking right now, but you're not invading Japan. I don't like it when the AI gets bugged like that. It's just really weird. But look at all these guys pushing. We even have Leningrad right now. And we're just gonna keep going forward and forward. And there's this random thing here. 
more territory to go through. I mean, I can just give them orders manually. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Just take these territories, stop like forming a front line against a territory where there's nothing. Let's look at the losses though. And tech to research as well. Mm. What's a good thing to get here? Nothing actually. You know what, we might want to go for that, because why not? We don't have much else to research. So, might as well, right? Okay, and then we're gonna give some orders to keep pushing through like that. I mean, yeah, just attack. Looks like the... Brits are doing their own thing here. It's good to see. I know, it's just like, this looks really weird. It's supposed to all be mine. What's the contribution? Well, I have 43%, but I, I'd say I honestly have more than 43%. I've contributed a lot more than this. So yeah, our guys are actually pushing through here, somewhat. And there needs to be a pocket formed here, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna send them both right there. And once we finish with this... Oh, we gotta get them out of here. I have like almost no orb dropping quite quickly. Not as quickly though, because they don't have as much soft attack as I do. The Brits. But uh, here you see another massive potential, uh, you know. Surround, pocket, whatever you want to call it. So here we go. Now they're just gonna get lost again as to what they really could do. Okay, we want to select these guys. We want to attack right there to stop some of them from further attacking. Look at these soft attack values. Wow. That's like 20 combat with divisions with like 800 soft attack. Pretty insane, I would say. There's also weird AI forming and front lines around the territory that's no ones oh we did get stopped here but shouldn't be for long though no supply i mean looks like they didn't do their job so. okay i know you i want you to finish this guys off not good. Sorry about that. Just gonna send my guys forward. Why is there nobody here? That makes zero sense. They're still not willing to give up. That's insane. Like, nope. Oh, and there's a pretty big landing here. In Norwegian. So I don't know why they're just... Not willing to go on foot, you know. But, oh well, whatever. That's not gonna go well for them. Still free military factories. Well, why? We still need more regular artillery. Okay. Then let's produce more regular artillery. If that's what you want. Let's see. There you go. Are you happy now? <laughs> still massive losses for artillery.
Okay, I'm gonna send only two of them like this, probably. Start splitting them up. Rostov is still taking so long. It's like one of the worst battles. Stalino, we're gonna win here. Not finishing the job, I see. Really, I have to do everything because otherwise they won't like take it. Okay. Look at all these small weird pockets, you know. What? Why did you take that strange route? Come on, just take these random pockets. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. Okay, just... I guess we gotta go and cut them off completely. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, we have this division, or not division, but that province right there. It's gonna be ours. No question about it. I mean, really, is this actually happening? So many divisions on, like, really strange provinces. Okay, I mean, I guess we're gonna have to take them, you know. We have to finish... Th Not only are we making the pockets, but we have to finish the pockets ourselves, too. Uh, it's very, very strange. Okay, well, I guess we have to... Save our troops, then. <laughs> and we have to take this as well. Still no free factories, so oh well. Okay, we're gonna break through here. I don't care. But we have a ton of attrition, which isn't good. Really, a nap. Sorry, but no. Wow, they've lost 5 million and we've lost 1 million. That's insane. And here, obviously, we've lost more. But... And Japan is still hanging on here because... They say not doing anything. They could just be attacking and winning, I'm sure of it. But they're like, nope. In the meantime, though, still much more to take. And we can also cut them off like this. And go straight down there afterwards. So, yeah. This push here. Massive soft attack values, so we are breaking through easily, even. I'd say. So, this is another pocket of troops. But yeah, these guys, they have such low supply. But we can't finish them. We just literally can't finish them. How many divisions do you guys have now? You should have lost a lot. Yeah, they lost a fair amount. What? We are pocketed here now? Great. Great job, guys. I wish I could more easily see which units I have selected, because like this is just very, very odd. It's strange. Yeah, we just gotta push through. All these pockets gotta be finished. Okay, take that out. Then I need some support here. Then here's gonna be another weirdish kind of pocket thing, but not really. 
Okay. More stuff to take. Yay. And here's another strange pocket right here. So we're gonna take all of these lands. Okay. More weird stuff. I mean, I guess we just gotta take everything. Make it safe. And there's still a battle here. Oh, they have actually landed though, so that's good. Trying to survive us here, but that's just not working out at all. They're not stopping us here. Too much power. And again, a random division around here. They're not gonna survive. Not for long, anyway. They should be done soon. Yeah, 71%. There's about 30% left. Shouldn't be that hard. Again, the fight in the roster. That's just disgustingly long. But anyway, here we're gonna get it done. At least I do hope so myself. So now we absolutely gotta get through here. those guys too. Wow, these, these are some interesting supply lines in pockets. We just got the nice research though. It's gonna be 45 tech, which is gonna take us about a year, which is fine. I'm gonna research it. Why not have the last medium armor? And we won't even be able to make any of it anyway. Which is even funnier. Okay, let's go attack that. Then we're gonna surround. And we're not gonna be going anywhere. I like how this is a tank, but it's not doing anything at all. Oh really, we got stopped. Not for long again. Mass clicks now. <laughs> oh, the those motorized infantry units are doing a good job, though. Holding them. Yeah, the game is lagging quite a bit now, though. Shouldn't be once we kill all of the Russian troops, though. I think. That's when it should get better. Oh, we should win that one. We don't have the... Oh, is there more attrition happening? Looks like there is some attrition, which is pretty bad. But I mean, once we get rid of these weird things, we're, we should be fine, right? Yeah. Where's the VPs? There's one. We're gonna get that one. Meanwhile, Soviets at 74% and not actually surrendering. So yeah, that's a thing. Okay, take these, take these. Wow, they have no org. Wow. Orgless, for sure. Okay, now we're gonna have to go in here. These guys, that's insane that they have so many troops there doing nothing. That really is insane. Okay. Meanwhile, I'm just, I guess I'm just gonna go through like this. Hmm. 
That's, again, weird stuff. Okay, more pockets of weirdness. Gotta get rid of that one. Still got some units here. I'm gonna finish that one. Wow. Sudden, all of a sudden, so many troops here. Any more invasions? Nope. USA is like, eh. Nothing to do here. See, so yeah, Rostov's still getting attacked, and of course, because it's Rostov, absolutely nothing is happening. We're gonna push through here, and we should win that battle with no issues. Here we're gonna attack, and these guys are all dead. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep on rolling through and strolling. Oh, really? Looks like we're gonna lose some troops thanks to USA not properly doing things. No big deal. They cut us off here. Hmm. That's not good. Hmm. Finish the air dock, though. And this right here. Let's start getting some radar, because why not? <laughs> I mean, there's not much else to research that could boost this. Did we upgrade all the infantry equipment? I think we did. I mean, all the production for infantry equipment. Oh, really? I think, is everyone upgraded? Apparently so, everyone is on infantry equipment 3. Huh. But we still need towed anti-tank and uh, artillery. Where's the anti-tank? Did we get rid of it? That's not good. Mm. What? Okay, there we go. We have way too much support equipment. Too much motorized, but hey, it's fine. So yeah, guys, keep going. Stalingrad is close. Soviets are close to surrendering. These all these small pockets though, always so strange. And again, they're like stuck here and not moving. What are you doing, guys? Do I actually have to help you? <laughs> really? I don't know how that's happening, but... <clears throat> Okay, I'm gonna have to attack this tank. Yeah, this should be the last episode. I mean, we should hopefully beat the Soviets here, and that's our end goal. Even though Japan is still alive, but obviously, you can see the writing on the wall for them. Stalingrad, though, we can get it right now. But it shouldn't be enough, I think. Although it will make us get close. So 
eighty percent. It's gonna make this look very close to do it. I can't believe they're still fighting. They're like resilient. It's because we have no good tanks. Because if we had more armored divisions, this would be over by now. And if we had actual proper front lines, the front lines didn't break as weirdly as they are. Really? Oh yeah, it's us controlling that land now. That's funny. So we're gonna break through there. There are still more weird pockets. Apparently there are. So gotta get rid of all the weird pockets. Big Gorky as well. Okay, so now they're at 87%. Now that we have Stalingrad, so that is big. We gotta send more troops out. Or is this artillery division? Send those guys out too. Finish this pocket, guys. Finish it. Send one to help, because clearly that's not enough. Really? There we go. That should be enough. Oh, look. Those troops are actually stuck there. Okay, this one division should just get absolutely every province right there. I love how we're not advancing. We're like stuck here. Our Hangelsk is gonna be an important one. Ooh. Really, they cut us off and our good old friends are not doing anything about it? Wow. Okay, break. Breakthrough, and then we're gonna go to Astrakhan, which is actually pretty important, isn't it? Uh, uh, three VPs is not as much as I was hoping for, but it's still something, right? Okay. How many troops do you have now? You should have lost a lot more. Wow, yeah, they lost a bunch. You could say. Okay, we got that construction going. We need to get more stuff. Excavation, not necessary air doctrines. We got all of those. Oh, get the next fighter stuff. Advanced fire bases. Well, that's good. Shock and all, though, is gonna be exactly what we need. like how we got stopped like this. The attrition here is massive. It's even worse here because even worse supply. <laughs> That's like a thing. We got cut off which hurts us real bad here. Getting cut off is like the worst thing that can happen. But yeah, we're fine with that. Okay, I'm gonna crush you guys. I'm gonna crush you guys. And Saratov is mine. Meanwhile, the Soviets are at 94%, so they're about to break as long as we can get a few more VPs. So the few more VPs that we want, well, we definitely want that. And finally, they're moving forward to take some VPs. That's finally some good stuff that I see out of them. Okay, I'm gonna move them through there. Nope. That's actually not a good spot to attack from, so... I'm gonna go actually like this. There we go. And we need to rush other potential VP targets. And these guys are stuck, because they have no supply. So, great. Great job, guys. You're stuck. Yay. I guess I'm gonna send them back now. I'm gonna send one guy to save them. And I need more VPs. Where's the next few VPs? Okay, 
Okay, I'm gonna send one guy. He should just hunt the VPs. I don't see any VPs here for the Soviets. They're probably further east. Oh, there is a nice nice one right here, which we could go for Ufa. Is there anything else? I don't see, actually. But this is just taking way too long. Our Hangelsk, though, should help us out. 97%, just 3% off, really. Is, that's what, is that what's gonna stop us? I hope not. This is just hilarious that they still have troops right there. And especially here, that's like funniest ever. Okay, now we gotta finish this crazy surround here. Make sure we get rid of most of their troops. They have like no org because they were on low supply for like the whole time. And look, finally they're doing a good job here. Somebody is doing something at least. Okay, so now we've got like all these artillery troops. Yeah, I'm gonna save my guys there. Because they need to be saved. And our Hungilsk is the one that we need. Hmm. Okay, we got that out of the way. No more VPs here. There is that VP there that we need. And there's a VP here. Ooh, there's a VP there. We're taking that one. Petrozavodsk. Because if we get that one, that might be enough. I don't know. I'm not sure. We'll see. This is taking way too long. <laughs> Absolutely taking way too long. And guys, why don't you actually take proper stuff? Okay, you're trying to break out, which is not something that I can allow. Okay, did we take that? I think we did and it didn't help us out. Where was it? Oh yeah, there we go. We took it and it didn't help. No, but it's 2% off. Wow. What? Really? No. Yeah, that's where we're gonna go for that. Instead. So meanwhile, looks like they are trying to stop us, but not very nicely. Trying to find more VPs, guys, but I don't see any more VPs here. Oh, I do see one right there. Just hunting for those VPs now hmm we did get this one too it should be over it really should be it's one percent off just one percent <sighs> that one percent should be all fine once we get those troops through though okay this stack here goodbye Okay, so these guys are done. Looks like we didn't attack them though. Oh, did Soviets surrender? I think it did. There they go, great news. So probably there's gonna be a nice treaty happening. Or not, okay. <laughs> so I guess not all of them surrender. Oh, there we go. So what do I wanna do? I wanna conquer. What? I'm taking all this stuff. Oh no, it's too much stuff in one turn. So never mind with that. I'm gonna end the turn like this. Change government, take back, we take what? 
Okay. That's fine. I have a ton of points already, so... All the clicking, guys. All the clicking. Oh, we just asked for a little bit too much. Okay, this is enough. And it's my turn again. I'm gonna steal all of these. Okay. So you just took all of that. I, l I like that. That's funny. Um, yeah. I guess I'm gonna have to click on all of this stuff. One by one. Oh no, I just made massive demands. Wait, what? I have to click pass? Oh, so... Jesus, I have to remove everything. Huh. Not a fan of the peace treaties. It's one thing I'm not a fan of. It's pass. Okay. And a turn with this, so we should have more points available. Should have a lot more points available. And yeah, this should all be mine now. And what else can I do? I guess I can't actually take anything else. So yeah, this is uh, good old France. <laughs> I don't think I can make any more demands, so I guess we have to calculate the effects. Okay. So that war is over now. And these guys... Oh, the Russia is funny. They don't still have a ton of military factories, though. That's funny. We own all of this, and they still have more than us. Okay. Fair enough. Anyway. I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna do a naval invasion from here to here. This is not a valid pro. What? Oh no! Remove, 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 remove. I'm gonna select the naval invasion. Do it from here all the way to here. Yep, that should be alright, right? Yep, let's assign you guys. Total limit, 10 again, so let's do... Yay! Okay. All you guys are gonna be there and you're gonna do a naval invasion. And Japan should die. I don't see it any other way. Just the strategic redeployment's gonna take ages though. But oh well. Oh, speaking of which, we gotta select our fleet. So these guys.
Okay, you guys are gonna have to patrol this land. Here. And here. There you go. That's perfect. Perfect. Now I'm still waiting for these guys to arrive. Uh, they're gonna take their sweet time arriving there. I love the amount of factories that we have. That's pretty insane. I love it. Let's get some of the rockets going. Our fleet should be arriving anytime now, though. Where are you guys at? <laughs> no, they're not arriving anytime soon. They're gonna take a while. But yeah, actually, apparently we beat Soviet Union quicker than uh, the Axis. Doesn't make much sense, but hey. Should be... We lost a lot. Yeah, 1.4 million. Yep. It's a lot of troops. But hey, it looks like these guys have arrived. Nine of them. There's like another that's on the way. It's gonna take like 70 days, which is fine. I mean, it'll be good. Then we can just send... Uh, the rest over. Ten divisions should be enough to get rid of uh, Japan because there are ten divisions. Okay, so here's the, the tenth one. Or no, that wasn't the tenth one. Huh. I guess I sent nine instead. Okay, so we need to wait like a few more days and we'll be ready. Look at logistics. Oh yeah, we have plenty of everything except Toad Anti-Tank. We gotta build more Toad Anti-Tank. So I'll build more of this. Nagasaki right here. Now, but we're landing here. We're gonna take Hiroshima and then we're gonna push them out of here and we'll be fine. Should be fine anyway. Okay guys, almost done. One more day, here they come. We're gonna get there. It's actually only nine, not ten, which is making it even weirder, but hey. I don't know why only nine got there. But anyway, it shouldn't be a problem. It should be just fine. I don't think there's anyone there. Okay, that's good. So we just arrived there. I'm gonna pause. One goes there. One goes there. One goes like this. One goes like this. One goes like this. One goes like this. Okay, let's see how it happens. So in Hiroshima. Oh wow. They actually have decent divisions, those Japs. Oh wow. I'm impressed by their division layout, to be honest. Okay, so I'm gonna do it kinda like this. Because yeah, I really want Hiroshima, right? So. You gotta attack it, but there's like nine divisions defending it, which makes it extremely hard to attack. Yeah. I mean, I can't believe that we're not actually breaking through there. I mean, this is insane. Hiroshima, guys. It's Hiroshima. We have. We need a dockyard. Well, wow, like one of their divisions is so strong. It's just unbelievable. We are gonna get Kokura though, which is a good province to get, I guess. Hiroshima, however, ugh. We have low supply issues, which, yeah. Not a fan of those at all. I'm gonna have to get the hell out of here right now. Okay, we're pushing through here really quickly, and that's good. But I need to get Nagasaki. I don't know how many guys they have in Nagasaki, which is also very important. 
Pokora, we're pushing through. We gotta get more. No, stay right here. Okay, we pushed them out. We gotta get Nagasaki right now. We gotta push in. And we gotta get out. Come on, take Nagasaki right now. I hope they don't have a lot of troops there. That would be really bad if they did. Oh no, they have garrisons in Nagasaki making it worse for us. Oof. And now we just got stomped here. Japs have done well. Oh, but if we land here... Wow, if... If we've ever had a loss. <laughs> it's to the Japs. Wow. Okay, guys. What? How did we get overrun? Because they weren't there. Ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. Okay, I'm just gonna have to select strategic redeployment. Order and send them all back here. Because that's pretty bad. <laughs> wow. Like, how we lost this is just... Insane. I gotta make a landing somewhere, but it seems like it's way too difficult to land. Because they have everything under control. Yeah, they have too many divisions defending their ports, which makes it way too hard to attack them to their ports. As you can see right here. And I love how they're attacking me and they're not achieving anything. And I think that's cute. But again, I don't have any troops right there. I gotta go fast forward. Come on. USA, you could push here so easily, but you're like, nope. Come on. Somebody's gonna make a landing. And they're attacking again and again. And yeah, they're just losing a ton of men. Which is fine. Come on, USA. Why don't you do this? It should be easy for you, USA. If you refuse. They just refuse completely. It's not fun. Meanwhile, where are all our troops? Why haven't they arrived yet? Yeah, put on strategic redeployment, of course. They're still attacking me here, and they have no success with that whatsoever. Okay, what if I land here? Because we can get... Apparently, there's enough to supply stuff all the way here, so... Yeah, experimental rockets. Well, we got that, at least. Gotta get the rocket engines, though. And again, they're attacking, which is funny. All this development happening, but... We just have no chance. They're losing every time horribly. But soon we're gonna run out of org. Once we run out of org, we're in quite some trouble. Are people trying to do naval invasions? Maybe. I think that may be it. I hope they do because fighting alone against all these guys here is just too rough for me to handle. Japan's strong. Yeah, they, they tried another landing, didn't work out. <laughs> Japan's lost one million though, and I think they'll keep losing because they keep attacking me here. And I've got the organization here. I love how I, I've occupied this and I have no idea what there is in there. Okay, we just got shock and awe, which is like very important that we research it. Because now, our troops will be far, far stronger. Okay, we need engineer company, the next one. Yeah, shock and awe has just given us a big boost to our capabilities. But look, Japan, 1.01 million lost. Well, that's not great. What if we land again on Hiroshima? Well, it's not gonna end up too well for us. I think. Hmm. 
We have nice monthly growth in terms of recruitable, but... Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this. Delete this right there. That's gonna be deleted. Meanwhile, where are all our troops? And get there faster with your strategic redeployment, guys. Even the African theater. What? No. African theater, go here. No, African theater. I don't want you there anymore. I want you right there. Strategic redeployment. Delete all your orders. There you go. What's in the Brigade Colonial? Okay. We don't want this in the Brigade Colonial, so African Theater. I will change Division th Template to Division Infantry. So now, you guys are off the field. Oh, nice, we got the tanks rolling. So now we can get the SPGs. Should be nice to produce those tanks, sure. Okay, still attacking me. I love how they continuously attack me. Oh, Hiroshima! So actually, something is happening here, but... Ooh, the Brits... Brits are holding out, and they did an invasion, but... It did not go as planned, clearly. <laughs> we have troops here. No, we did not, but... We're getting there. We're getting there slowly, but surely. We just lost so much due to the landings and such. What if we attack that territory right there? Hmm, it's not in our favor. I'm gonna have to stop. Atomic research. Okay, we got atomic research. Now let's get nuclear reactor. Bomb them to smithereens. Should totally do that. Our troops still trying to make their way here. <laughs> Um, yeah. Jet tactical bomber will be interesting, though. Okay. I guess I can research that, because why not? Ooh. Yeah, it looks like they got destroyed, the Brits, with their landing. It was a nice attempt. Did not work out. It's a bit sad, but hey. Coast of Japan, there's, like, naval combat happening here. I didn't read what happened, but I imagine we won. Yeah, the Japanese are they're not doing a great job here. <laughs> and again, they're trying to attack me, but no go. Still completely out of supply. Did we arrive here? Nope. Kind of close, though. We're getting there. Oh, well, apparently we already could, but... Eh, why not? <laughs> Just ask for it anyway, you know. What? How is the strategic redeployment off? Now it's on. They should be getting there way faster. Get there. Come on. I know you can get there. I know you'll make it. Wait, is there no one in Hiroshima? Did they abandon Hiroshima? If they did, no, they didn't. There's another attack here, but couldn't do anything. No, we gotta land here. We're gonna land right behind them. We're right here, take Asahigawa, and then we take this, and then we have, like, our troops finally ready for combat. I think that's the best idea. Hmm. Okay, we have seven guys selected. Okay, we have ten guys selected. So, with these guys. Well, invasion one. Click here. What? Let's click here, and then we're gonna land over there. We're gonna execute this. Whenever possible, that is. It 
70 days needed, which is fine. I did research that. AA is unnecessary though. Okay, once we also want the logistics company researched. This is taking so long. Jesus. Here they come again with the attacks. Yeah, we should hopefully be ready soon. It's just gonna take that long to get there. But yeah, allies have won, guys. They've beaten the Axis and the Commenter. But Japan just does not want to give up. As you can clearly tell. Just got the Engineer Company. Now we gotta go for Night Vision. It's gonna take a while, but it should be worth it. And if we look at the boosts of night vision, land night attack plus 15% is pretty sweet. We just got the rocket engines, jet engines. Yeah, jet engines will be nice. Oh, really? It boosts the artillery. I didn't know. These techs still boost artillery. Hmm. I was unaware. Hmm. Okay. Yep. I don't actually check what that was. But hey. Okay, did we land our troops here yet? Okay, still need a lot more. Hmm. But yeah, once we land here, we take these two. Once we have this, we should be fine. I don't know what port the US have taken because they can actually support themselves. I guess they can ferry it over the strait. I guess that's how. Hmm. It's almost done. I love how they can't beat me here. But soon we'll lose. Wow, Japan has lost a lot just attacking those random troops. They've just lost so much. Okay, so we're almost through here. 15 more days. With our army experience, so bad. <laughs> oh, speaking of army experience. Well then, because we have so much. We gotta work on our reliability. Okay, so we got this SPG artillery, MK1, which we're going to be producing. And then we're going to work on more stuff, like the AMX-50T, which we're going to boost again. Boost the reliability by two points, and then get the extra main gun, probably. Yeah. It should mean reliability-wise. Hmm... And we could boost them further, right? Get the max main gun. Probably try and get as much armor as possible too. In the meantime. Reliability is also very good. So I'm gonna get three reliability and no four reliability and one armor and five main. Gun. Yeah, that's good. So there's our tank, which we're gonna start producing any time now. In the meantime, we don't need all this rocket art, so I'm going to cancel that one. And I want to see how many... none of these are actually work. Okay. Meanwhile, though, our fighters got to get upgraded. I mean, come on. And all the equipment here? Sorry, it's too much, so we don't need all of this. We don't need all of this. Okay, we've got 17 factories working here. Okay, that's good. We don't need all of this again. We got 30 working on these guys, but we don't need all of this again. Because <laughs> we have enough infantry equipment. So yeah. I'm just gonna make more infantry. 
with the ones that are, you know. Oh, what? Motorized? No thanks. Okay. Wait, did we land here? Oh, we did. We did land here. Okay, and we actually didn't do anything. <laughs> but we are going to push through here. That's what we're going to do. Ooh, and there's landing here as well. That's funny. British Raj is coming in here. And there's a further landing here, apparently. Again by British Raj. And more landings on the way as well. Wow. Well, here we are. I'm gonna go further into Sapporo. And we're gonna get rid of these guys. Because that's what we gotta do. However, we still need to select some guys. Six divisions? Okay. Well, you guys. What can I say? I have to select you. What? Well, what are you part of is the real question. Eh, it doesn't matter. Let's get General Charles de Gaulle on them. Gonna make a land or rather naval invasion right at them. Right behind there. And execute. Yes. So yeah, that should be enough. 42 needed days. Okay, that's fine. How are we not actually pushing through here? That's the real question. Okay, we've got our reinforcements in here with our massive soft attack values. Should be fine. Oh, but getting rid of Japan. Oh, look. Something is happening right here. They're still trying to push into me. We just got improved rocket engines, which helps a lot. Let's just get that anyway, though. Let's also get this anyway. And let's also get this anyway. So we gotta research something, right? So might as well research that. And where's our naval invasions, guys? Okay, so we got this rolling. Our attacks here are clearly not working out so well which is fine halfway through there oh there's more invasions though hmm that's good because once we're gonna hit here we're just gonna take those oh we do have that fort though or is it the fort no I don't think so we need actual ports like that's a port this is a port yeah 27 days, we're nearly there. They're almost gonna stop us here, but clearly they're not, they're still not capable of doing that. They're still taking massive damage due to our soft attack values, so. They are, however, gonna defend themselves here. Nope. The landing is pretty big. But once we get here, maybe we can push them out of Omori. Hmm. Could be a thing. Okay. Can we actually push through here? We do have the better stats compared to them. Oh, really? The front is too large. Ugh. Why does why why does this happen already? Hmm. Come on, guys. I trust you. Get in there. And we actually can't do anything. They're like really well guarded there. Okay, we'll. We will arrive at our location very soon. In a few hours. What? Oh, they just arrived here. Okay, so we arrived there. Now it's time to go for Omori. Before anything else happens, you know. That is priority number one, guys. Go for it. Yes! Get it! Get it! Okay, so now that we got that, and I'm gonna start attacking here as well. Okay, so we got a Mori. So it's time to actually come out and start attacking. Yes. So, I see. so now we've got these guys that we can actually send over there. 
Yes. And we need more naval bases. We definitely do. But hey, this should go alright for us here. I think. Well, this attack through here is not the worst, actually. Apparently, we are making some progress. So I'm going to actually try and attempt to help them. But they're going to go down here. Their org is uh, not good enough. Oh, what? Are you telling me that you've broken out here? Okay. Well, there we go. Next, I'm going to take Omori from them. And I'm going to keep going through here. There we go. This This is the breakthrough that we needed. Now we can merge our troops together here. And we just landed with a billion troops, really. So we gotta get rolling and strolling. Okay, we selected nine. So we can go with some of them further. To take more stuff from them. Okay, just just push them out. I think this is gonna be the end of Japan, guys. Oh, look, we're still fighting on here. Like 10% strength units. <laughs> Meanwhile, Japan's lost 1.4 million. Wow. It's a lot of losses for the Japanese. Quite a lot of losses, I must say. Japan you did not impress me anymore. Let's go directly for Nikoya. And where are you Americans? I th I kind of need you right now. Oh, we did research all of that. Okay. Well, then I guess we got to research more stuff. Fine, let's get some extra resources. Just to get something, you know. Yep, here comes the French invasion, guys. I like our war participation. And it's still going up as well. Hmm. Wow. Okay, so we took Hiroshima. That's important. And we did lose those troops there, but that's fine. That's just fine, really. Okay, so we're gonna... Go straight for Tokyo as quickly as we can. Okay, looks like we can't actually attack everywhere. Oh, and I gotta stop some of them because I don't want to let them get out here. Japanese. We do have some low supply issues, but hopefully we can get rid of them without losing too much. They have a lot, they have so much. It's insane. And we don't have more troops there, so we can't do more naval invasions. That's a bit unfortunate, though, I think, I would say. Oh, they actually cut us off here. Okay. Well, I don't like that. So, yeah, I'm gonna... Uncut, uncut myself. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to see. But once we get through here, this should be alright. There's too many hilly... Too much hilly terrain. Okay, we're gonna get Tokyo. And US have done a nice landing here. Come on, US. Group up with us. Once we get Tokyo, we're gonna get this naval base here, and... Oh, yes, we just got Tokyo. Very good. Fall of Tokyo, yes. American forces have entered Tokyo. Not quite. It's uh, French forces, but close enough, I guess. Close enough. Okay, we wanna send those four guys over there. Because, you know, it's those kind of guys. And we wanna break through. Wow! Finally, something is happening. Look at all the naval invasions that have happened. Japan is finally collapsing. I'm happy to see that. 
Happy to witness it. Okay, so we're gonna push on through there. Got those guys working on it as well. Okay, that's a lot of guys though. Hmm. Okay, so we got some guys attacking, some other guys pushing further ahead. Okay, this attack might actually work out okay, actually. I wouldn't be that surprised if it did. But yeah, I think they will finally surrender soon. The Japanese took a damn while to do to surrender. Wow, because they had so many troops. Okay, so we're just gonna steal Nagoya right now. We're gonna keep pushing through. Thanks, USA, for actually doing something. Oh, now we got Nagasaki. Oh, what? USA, US forces were forced to go back? Do I see this right? Like, Finnish troops right here. <laughs> that is uh, indeed funny. Okay, Nagoya should be ours. How close are they to surrendering? Very close, 85%. Because they have 90% unity. Okay, I'm gonna go take Koshinetsu. That should drop them a lot. Should be... Should hopefully be prepared to surrender right after that. I think. Okay, so they still need more stuff. We still need to take more stuff, that is. Kanazawa is here. Oh, that wasn't Koshinetsu. That was Kanazawa. Okay. So here we should just win despite our org. Actually, no, we have too little org to win. So we got that radar. Now let's get this radar. Then. And keep rolling, rolling, rolling through. Because we can. Okay. They're actually pushing us back slightly, which is why I'm going to send the unit there to defend. And once our unit arrives, it should be more than enough them off. Thanks US for uh, holding them off. Now that I'm here, you're not needed anymore. So yeah, about this. Looks like we actually do need to take Kochi. And we need Kokura as well. Hmm. So yeah, this isn't over yet. It's going to be. Okay, goodbye, Japan. Ninety-two percent. We just need like one more thing, really. And Kochi should be enough. That's precisely all we need. Come on, guys, get over to Kochi. And you guys, actually, I want you to attack this land because you can. The encirclement, oh, they're, the penalties that they're suffering, so bad. They have, like, no divisions left. Wow, yeah. Well, there there you go, guys. <laughs> Take Kochi as fast as you can. We're about to end World War II. With no Soviets. And we actually gain more power, that's great. Not power, but even though I, we have so much of it, I mean manpower. So not political. Okay, guys. Well, we're just about to get Kochi, and then they should give up, right? There we go. We just took this from them. Oh, no, it's 96%, so they still have something that we haven't taken. Now, oh, Japan, where are your VPs? Is this a VP? Yes, of course, this is a VP, so I guess we're gonna have to do more naval invasions. Yay. Oh no, because that's also a VP. So we need to take that. Take it, guys. Actually, we're pushing through quite nicely here with two of these divisions, all things considered. Hmm. Oh, well, not really then. Wow, there's like so many units, divisions getting prepared to land and stuff. Okay, now the two mountaineers here. They push forward. 
Yeah, naval penalty is massive. Sadly, we don't have marines. Would have changed things a lot. We have mountaineers though, but still. Not the same thing. Oh, we do have we do have that territory though, and they didn't give up. Really, it's 99%. Like one more thing that we need. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna select Osaka, and then I'm gonna go right there. Come on, go towards it. They need 14 days. Okay. I think that's weird, that event. <laughs> oh no, we can also get Kagoshima, so we'll see which one is faster. If we take Kagoshima or if other stuff happens first. Oh look, finally the Brits have good units. <laughs> finally worked out their templates. Oh, speaking of templates. wonder how this would look like. Modern tank? Uh, what What is a modern tank and what is a medium tank? I'm confused right now. MX-50 T is probably a modern tank, right? I don't know. I guess that's it. Yeah. Add the SP art as well. The combat width is now 10 to uh, 20. Perfect. Those are our divisions. Let's train some of those then. Yep. Japan has capitulated. Great news. Well then, we have all of this, so might as well wow are we actually gonna take all of it ourselves oh wait no because that also includes yeah of course we have a ton of points though <laughs> so even if we take most of J oh never mind that was actually too much what we took right there so this should be enough. Okay, we just ended our turn. Let's see what's happening next. Oh, really? That happened? Huh. Okay. So I'm gonna take that too. I'm gonna take these random islands too, because why not? Next, I need to take some of the German Reich. Nope, that's way too much of the German Reich. We do not want to take so much, because it's not good. Okay, so we took that, now we can take more stuff. Okay, that's too much, and turn again. Really, that's too much again? Hmm. I gotta pass, I guess. Okay, so now I'm gonna take all of this. Myself, yes. Do I want this as well? Yes, I'll take this as well. What? I can't take this? Wow, that's way too much. <laughs> there we go, I just took that. I'll pass again. What else can I take that I haven't taken? Well, I see a lot of green stuff here against the Spanish. So we'll see just how big we become after this. Okay, so we just took that from the Italians. That's good. Now what else can we do? 
I don't know if there's anything else that can be taken. So, yeah. Press then. Let's see how much it gives us all the factories. Wow. Wow. Republican Italy. <laughs> so yeah, things happen here. Republic of Bulgaria. May wow, 750 factories. Wow. Just wow. I'm amazed. Polish People's Republic. So yeah, the power of allies. We have done it. And there's even a Russian Federation. That is uh, part of our faction. What? Okay, that's weird because they're all you know part of allies everyone out al is allied now and Poland has done it too <laughs> Poland's now allied well they were there previously but now they're also called Polish People's Republic so yeah the power of allies apparently <laughs> well the French carry anyway but yeah that was the let's play so thank you all for watching don't forget to comment and subscribe Follow me on social media and I'll see you next time.